All right, we are going to talk about which dash cam is better. Is it the Blue Sky C B2W dash cam or is it the Van True N2 Pro? Find out today. Hey everyone, Chris here from Real Rideshare Stories. If you're new to the channel and you're looking for different things within the rideshare industry, whether it's tips and tricks for passengers and drivers, news of what's going on, or what actually happens on real rideshare rides, make sure you start off by hitting the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. All right, so we are going to talk about the better dash cam. Again, if it's the Blue Sky C B2W dash cam or the Van True N2 Pro. Uh, we're gonna talk about how they're alike, how they're different. Uh, we're gonna do a comparison video of the exact footage that they're shooting. Uh, so it's gonna be exterior, interior, both during the day and night. Uh, and then gonna give my, uh, my thoughts on both cameras as well as the overall score that I give each camera and on which one's better or not. Um, is there a winner? Is it clear to find? Uh, that's what we're going to be talking about right now. All right, so let's talk about the similarities between the two. First of all, they are both dual dash cameras. So you got the camera in the front and then you got the camera in the rear. So it's going to shoot forward and rear facing. Uh, so you see what's in front of you and then also what's happening inside the car. A good thing is both of them also have the IR. So you see these little LEDs that are right there uh, on both cameras. So they both shoot at night. So in low light to no light conditions, these cameras will pick up everything that happens with inside the car. If you're using a camera that doesn't have that, i.e. just the forward facing, but doing it rear, you're not going to pick up the same things. If you're using a GoPro, your phone, whatever it might be, it's just gonna look black and it's not going to show uh, anything, uh, what's going on, especially when you need details. Uh, that's what the IR is. One of the fantastic things that both cameras do have is the fact that the IR is built into the camera itself. There are some cameras out there that have uh, no IR functionality, but you can put an IR addition onto it and it just doesn't work as well. So having them already in there, uh, whoops, sorry. Having them already in there like that just means that they're working together perfectly fine. Now on to the, uh, a couple of other things that they're the same or have very similar um, things is they both shoot in 1080, both forward facing and rear facing. Uh, the Van True can shoot 1440, uh, just forward facing. So if you only have it forward facing, that's when it can shoot 1440. Uh, so if you do have a monitor or something that can pick up that, it'll be a little bit higher definition. Uh, but if you're using both the forward facing and rear facing camera, uh, you can only shoot in 1080 on both cameras. Uh, both are at 30 frames per second uh, between the two. Um, one of the things, they also both have screens on them, so you can do all the different functionality. Uh, you can actually have the screens on or off if you want uh, during actual driving when it's at night. Uh, so you, if you want them off, uh, you can turn them off because it is a little bit of a distraction. Uh, mine are off when, I ha when I'm driving. Uh, so yeah, that's one thing right there. Now, um, let's see, what else is similar? Yeah, a lot of the functions, they both have um, external hard drives that they use. Uh, the Vantrue N2 Pro uses up to 256 gigabyte hard drive, uh, I'm sorry, micro SD card. Uh, so anything over that, it won't work in this camera. Uh, 256 gigs uh, is the max. On the Blue Sky C B2W, you can do up to 400 gigabytes. Uh, so that's a little bit different there, but they both use uh, the micro SD card. Um, so you wanna make sure you get the SD cards. All right, a couple of optional accessories that both cameras do have 
is they both have an external GPS that you could uh, purchase and get for each camera. Uh, so it'll record speed, it'll record uh, location. So in case you need that information, it's right on the timestamp of everything. It'll also sync up things a little bit differently for you um, if they know they have the GPS, but they both have that. And then another thing that both cameras do have as an optional accessory is a hardwire kit that you can hardwire directly into the car instead of using the um, cigarette lighter. So that is something that is good for uh, both cameras. On to the differences of each camera. Um, obviously, they look completely different. Uh, so they have a whole different style. So depending on what you like in terms of the style of how it's set up could influence your decision a little bit on what camera uh, would be better for you. First off, just when I got this camera, being that it's a little bit boxier, um, I had it directly mounted right in the center of the dash right next to this one when I was doing uh, test footage and all that fun stuff, um, and then comparison shots. So I was worried about this possibly being a, a uh, showing obstruction of my view, but honestly, it really didn't. Uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, I mean, you're not focusing on the camera, you're focusing beyond on the road. So uh, you're seeing past this, which is good. Um, but yeah, I was kind of worried that there might be some blind spot because of this. And it's actually very minimal from what I've noticed. And like I said, it was mostly in the center of my dash camera. Um, which you'll see uh, the footage of that uh, very soon, um, how I had it set up. Um, a little bit difference is, yes, they both have screens, uh, but they are different sizes. You can see that the Blue Sky C is a little bit bigger um, than the Vantrue N2 Pro. Uh, so when you're doing, you know, settings and updates and uh, different things to change, on this camera, it is a little bit easier to see than this camera. The one difference too is uh, on the Vantrue N2 Pro, this camera forward facing is fixed while the interior camera is able to rotate. So it's just depending on where you want it. Um, but on the Blue Sky C B2W, both cameras do rotate about 110 degrees each. Uh, each way. So that is a pretty unique thing right there. Um, also, this is going to hug your windshield much differently. Um, so this is going to hug it. Yeah, you might not necessarily see the screen, uh, but the cameras are going to be uh, directly in front and uh, backward, depending on how you have it mounted. And like I said, you can rotate the cameras uh, however you have it uh, mounted on the um, windshield itself. Other differences, like I said, this can shoot 1440p uh, forward facing only. So if you're using the forward facing option on this camera, uh, this will only shoot 1440 with the forward. Uh, it'll only, it'll shoot 1080 when you're using both. So that functionality is a little bit different there. Um, also, the camera sensors are a little bit different. Uh, as you'll see in a uh, minute or two uh the just the differences between the um capture that they do have uh as a comparison this one has wi-fi capabilities so if you want to put it directly to your phone record to your phone you can do that uh so it it's kind of like a gopro setup so if you have a gopro you can uh do the wi-fi that goes directly to your phone so you can uh record and change different things i haven't played with the wi-fi setting on it i haven't had the time yet uh but i will be soon uh, but yeah this does have the wi-fi uh function on it so it can go directly to your phone uh i haven't seen where it'll update automatically um, to the cloud or anything. Um, so if somebody tries stealing your camera um, and your phone, uh, yeah, you might still have that issue. So if you want to have Wi-Fi uh, so it goes to your phone, again, this option only has it. Um, just like I said, the overall setup is much different. So it just depends too when, when you're looking at a dash cam, which one you like better. 
All right. So that's pretty much just the differences. They are very minor. Uh, and I'm going to talk about price because the price is different between the two. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the differences between that's going to really make sense that you really need to worry about or no, um, besides price. And we'll talk about that after. Next is going to be the dash cam footage between both the Vantrue N2 Pro and the Blue Sky C B2W um, comparison. Both outside, uh, inside, both during the day and at night, so you can see the differences of what they look like uh, and how they function in those times. So here you go and check that out. All right, so that was the footage between the Vantrue N2 Pro and the Blue Sky C B2W dash cameras. So you could clearly see that there was a difference between the cameras uh, because they are two different cameras uh, and they are a little bit different because they are two different price points. Um, so yeah, you could notice the difference there uh, and the fact that they use different sensors and uh, things within the camera itself. So that is probably the true test of time in terms of uh, what you want to look for in a dash cam. Both pictures are good on all fronts. One is a little bit better than the other uh, and a little bit more truer than the other and picks up a little bit more detail than the other. Uh, but again, that's the price point difference. One is a little bit lower than the other. And that's what we're going to talk about right now is the price point. The Blue Sky C B2W dash cam is $139.99 on Amazon uh, at the normal price. Right now, they are doing a 10% off, so it is uh, through November 16th. So if you want to get a little cheaper, that's what you can get for this camera. The Vantrue N2 Pro, uh, its price point is $199.99 on Amazon. So it is $60 more on a normal price. Yes, sometimes you can get this camera for uh, you know, $50, $60 cheaper. Uh, but yeah, those are the differences between the two. All right, so we are going to do my opinions on which is the better camera. Is the Vantrue N2 Pro or is it the Blue Sky C B2W dash camera? We're going to talk about a few different things uh, in terms of different categories and who's going to win. And then uh, overall, as well as a couple of improvements that both cameras could make to have a better product out there. So first off, aesthetic. Obviously, they look much different. What they look like, guess what? In my opinion, I don't care. So you both get a point for that.
because there is no winner to me when it comes to aesthetic. It doesn't matter. Uh, there is a design flaw in one of the cameras, but it does not play with the aesthetics of the camera. And I'm going to talk about that design flaw in a few moments. Um, now, functionality and screen size uh, in terms of being able to, you know, two different settings and all that fun stuff. Uh, you can see right here, the B2W dash cam has a bigger screen. The buttons also are bigger. On the N2 Pro, the buttons are underneath. Um, so you can clearly see that uh, the screen is a little bit better where this is going to function a little better. So point to B2W for that. They are both dual dash cameras, point to both of them. So forward facing, rear facing, good. Both have IR, so that's also good. So point to both on those points. Price point. One, about 140 for this camera, about 200 for this camera. So there are differences on the reasons why they have the price point, but overall for a, a typical driver who's driving Uber or Lyft, uh, price point can be a big difference. So guess what? B2W wins that one again. But with that being said, we're going to go into the next category, and that is image and capture, video capture. And essentially, you're getting what you pay for. So yes, because this one is cheaper by about $60 on average, uh, or at the regular price than this one, uh, you know, there's going to be a, a little bit difference in terms of the, the camera, the lenses, the, the, ca uh, the capture uh, and the sensors. Um, so you're going to see the clear difference between the two uh, as you saw earlier uh, between the footage difference. So that goes point to Van True uh, because you're going to get a little bit more uh, depth of color, depth of field. Um, you're getting a little bit better detail on that. Um, so yeah, point to Van True on that overall, and it's a close, it's very close between the two, you know, both won a couple of rounds, both, uh, both tied a couple of rounds and uh, they're both fighting for that victorious, uh, uh, crowning achievement that I'm going to give, uh, the, there is a better dash cam, and I'm going to give the exact reason why one is better than the other. Uh, and then we're going to talk about the improvements where if they make the improvement over the other camera, then they might take the, uh, the win in a rematch. Uh, but the clear winner in this case comes down to one point and one point really only. The winner is the Van True N2 Pro. And the reason why I say that it's better is because of the capture quality that it has. You're picking up a little bit more detail, uh, especially when it comes to night shot. Uh, when I am driving, I drive at night. So I want something that's going to pick up really good detail at night, just in case something does happen. Uh, both cameras do have the, the nighttime functionality with the IR. It's just that the N2 Pro is a little bit better when it comes to it. And that is the real factor overall on why I think this camera is just a little bit better than this camera. Um, but like I said, both are good. Both are fighting cameras. And if you own one of these, you are going to be well off when it comes to security for your car, uh, both exterior and interior. Um, but yeah, highly recommend it. Now, let's talk about a couple of uh, things that they can improve, each company could improve, so if they are watching. So Blue Sky C, if you're watching, Van True, if you're watching. Um, you know, a couple of different things that you could improve to just make the camera a little bit better. Better sensors in the camera, Blue Sky C. So the B2W, if you get a little bit better sensors in here, um, so you can record a little bit more, get a little bit more night footage, uh, where in terms of uh, the light capture, what's coming in, uh, as well as, you know, a little bit more detail during the night shot on the interior. So a little bit better sensors, you will have the better camera overall. Absolutely, and there's a reason why. And this is the design flaw that I was just mentioning a few minutes ago. 
and there's a design flaw in the Vantru N2 Pro. And that is on the interior facing camera, uh, especially at night. And the design flaw is where the LEDs and the camera are. So you will get a, um, you know, a, uh, a little light, little halo effect where you're getting light streaks that are right about here and light streaks that are a little bit right about here. And that does play into the overall detail of the picture that it's that it's getting. Now, again, the camera itself and the sensors that are in it are going to be a little bit better overall versus the B2W, but it's the design of this that creates the problem. So right here, you could see, yeah, you got the bevel around the lens, which is then the camera itself is pushed in a little bit further and the LEDs stick out more. So you're getting a higher um, LED to camera. Uh, so that's what causes this, this halo effect around the camera during the night shot. But you are picking up better details. So Van True, improve this. Push this camera back out. Uh, or sync the LEDs or change them a little bit. So um, in this case, you don't get that halo effect and you would retain having the better camera if you did that. But again, like I said, improvement. So B2W already has that. They don't have that halo effect around it, which is great. So you can see between that you can tell that the LEDs and the camera are much closer together in terms of height. So the camera pops up a little bit, the bezel is, is level, but the LEDs are sunken back a little bit. So no, you don't have that halo effect on this camera. And that is why this camera is so close to the Vantru N2 Pro when it comes to its recording capabilities, its aesthetics, uh, all of the different things, uh, overall, when they're different, when they're similar, uh, they are two amazing cameras. Uh, and yeah, I highly recommend both. Um, again, this one, I believe, is just a little bit better than this one, only due to the capture uh, quality uh, and the clearness that you're getting in the picture overall. But it, you know, typical driver, if you're just having that footage, if you just want it for uh, something that happens to cover your own ass, both cameras are good and both cameras are going to get exactly what you need to get uh, so you can have the right footage. All right, so that is the end of today's video. I know it was long, but I wanted to be very thorough between the Vantru N2 Pro and the B2W dash cameras, both on their similarities, their differences, their capture quality, my thoughts overall, and the improvements that either camera could make uh, to be uh, a better camera. And uh, so I hope you guys learned a lot. If there's any information more that you need to know, you can comment below uh, or you could click the links in the description below so you could see uh, what camera has what and all that different things, plus other people's reviews uh, because it goes to the Amazon pages. Remember, tomorrow's video is a live stream dealing with dash cameras overall. So if you have any questions about dash cameras and you can't make tomorrow's live stream, comment below because I'll answer them tomorrow. Um, if you can make tomorrow's uh, live stream, then you know participate in the live chat where we can interact uh, and have everybody interact as well who else is watching. Uh, again, I don't know what time it's going to be. I'm trying to plan on 3 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which would be 12 or noon Pacific time. And then you just have to kind of figure that else if you're in other parts of the world. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're planning on that, but I don't know for sure if it's going to be at three or a little bit later. So make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified when I do go live as well as everything that comes out in the future, whether it be different live streams or videos that I publish as well too. All right, as always, never drink and drive, always tip your drivers, and we'll see you next time.